Alright, I just finished doing a valve job and putting a head gasket on this uh, lawnmower here. This engine is 11 horse brakes. But uh, I thought this would be a good time to uh, show everybody how to uh, adjust the air gap. That's actually how these things are timed on this lawnmower. I, I, must, I must get a, at least uh, one or two questions a month, you know, asking how to do that. So let me throw you on a tripod. It's pretty easy. And uh, we'll show you how to adjust that. Okay. First thing you got to do is uh, get to it. So you got to take the shroud off. And then it's right there in front of you. And uh, actually they sell gauges for these. Where are you guys at? I'm trying to show you here. This one here I've had uh, about 40, 45 years. This one here is actually for brakes. And if you can see, it's actually taking the shape of the flywheel. And the edges are breaking off because it's uh, gotten so brittle over the year, years. And uh, these here are for Tecumseh. And this one here is actually, this, this one working on the brakes too. That's, that's uh, 12 thousandths. You know, and uh, the air gap for these I think is supposed to be 10 to 12 thousandths. So that one will work for a Briggs. And here's another one, 30 thousandths, and another one, 7 thousandths. So uh, if you're gonna if you're gonna do any kind of work on engines or anything like that, it's it's worth buying these. They're only they're only about 50 cents a piece or something. You know, some people use uh, business cards, and a business card is like uh, 22 thousandths. That's that's twice the thick. That's almost as thick as this. That's uh, twice the thickness you want. You know, it'll work though. You know, but uh, it depends on if you want to do it right or you. You just want to fake it and get it running. All right, first thing you want to do is, uh, here's a magnet. I don't know if you can see that, but uh, that's a magnet. And when that comes around to the, the coil here, it, you know, that's what the, that's where you get your spark from. But anyway, you just want to turn that to the side. The rest of this ain't magnetic. And then you have two quarter-inch screws on the top here. You want to get a, a spin tight or a, a nut driver, whatever you guys want to call this because you really don't have to tighten this that much and you see this this thing will move back and forth so what you want to do is uh, you want to hold it back and then put your gauge in there and then turn the wheel to where the magnet is and then you let it go and it'll actually hold itself in there right up against uh, the flywheel and then all you do is tighten it And then roll your flywheel out of the way, and it'll, it'll bring your uh, gauge with it. I gotta be careful. I don't want to break that. It's gotta last me till I die. And that's it. You know your timer is all set. All right. It's a quickie, but a good one. All right. Good luck. I should have mentioned if you want to do it right, and you you know you don't have the the little plastic gauges and everything, you could get a regular feeler gauge and uh, stick them down in there and tighten them up one at a time. So that's just another way of doing it. Alrighty, enough of this.